Hey, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai. Hey, Kol Halo Yimla Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Kakodash. A double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us His truth and who rule well. A peace, love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. You know, just a quick thought that came to my mind. We are being made criminals, all right, for pushing the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, we are being made criminals. We're being made uh, the wicked, all right, for teaching our right, people to live according to a law and a way and a lifestyle that is, that is righteous, that is holy. And it's puzzling in your mind because... Hey, when it comes down to men that serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in truth and sincerity, hey, we are the ideal citizens. All right. Hey, we're, we're gentlemen. All right. We follow the, the law to the best of our ability. We follow the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to the best of our ability. You know, we're now here, not out here bugging all right, like other individuals. All right. And doing things that are that are considered to be. You know, evil or wicked or malicious. All right, we're not gangbangers. We're not drug dealers. Although some of us came out of that lifestyle through repenting. All right, we don't slang. We don't bang. All right, hey, we work. Hey, we go home and take care of our families. But we serve you how by Shmi Shai. Now there's one thing that we won't tolerate. All right, and that's wickedness, man. And. Seeing all of the wickedness in the, in the horrible way that this world is ran, all right, we are compelled all right, to speak out against it because we're vexed by the filthy conversation of the wicked. We're vexed by their conduct, all right, by their mannerism, their, their way of life, their, their uh, manners of life. So the Most High Heavenly Father puts it in our spirit to speak out against them, all right, because he's vexed too. So, to attack or to come after individuals like us, that would show, all right, by default that you are the wicked, all right, because you will want a city or a country or a state, all right, to have individuals like us within it, all right, and to be filled with people, all right, that have the idea, you know, or the thought process of us, all right, because we want peace, man, all right, we want righteousness all right we cry out and we thirst for righteousness and hey, the scripture say in the book of ezekiel 9 and 4 it says that uh go through the midst of the city and set a mark upon the men that sigh and cry for the abominations that be done thereof man all right so we're sighing out and crying about abomination all right everything that goes on in this place is an abomination and that being an abomination it's a vexation to our spirit man because our spirit lusts and desire for righteousness. All right, and when we see things that are done wrong and in, in the in the which are uh, this place has wronged our people and is continuously wronging our people. All right, here it is. You got all uh, the the C C fit 19 all right pandemic that is going on around the world and initially they started blaming are uh, the Chinese but it, immediately they went from blaming the Chinese to putting it on us, saying that we're the cause of the spread of this, this uh, disease and making us the new face of, of, of the CVID-19, just like they made us the face of, of all things, man. They made us the face of, of um, what is that, tuberculosis. All right, then they made us the face of AIDS. Then they made us the face of Ebola. All right, in which there's cases which can be proven that you've given our people these things, man. You've given our people Ebola. You've given our people COVID. You know, you've given our people uh, syphilis. You've given our people AIDS and HIV. All right, and done many different experiments upon our people, all right, which are well documented. All right, so really, who are the wicked, man? And on top of that, all right, you influence the lifestyle and the culture, all right, that our people you know, are, are taking upon themselves to be theirs, but it was never theirs to begin with. It's something that you taught them so that you can be the accuser of our brethren, so that you can go with your sorcerers and your witches 
before the Most High Heavenly Father to accuse us daily, all right, to put us in a category so that you can demonize us because ultimately you want the birthright, man, in which that's something that's impossible for you to achieve. You will never get the birthright. You would never get the birthright. So you do all of these things to take away our peace. peace. All right, you form law out of mischief. All right, to take away the rights of the people, man. To take away the rights of the poor. All right, and all we're doing is, is, is crying out against your abomination and against your wickedness, man. So therefore, by us coming out of the Bible and speaking how things should be according to the scriptures, are right, you make us an offender of a word for a word why because these words cut you man and no matter what all right you cannot turn away from doing wickedness all right you're going to constantly continuously do wickedness because it is something that is bred within you it's something that's within your spirit it's something that you're born with you can't go without doing mischief all right because that's the nature in your makeup so your spirit within you is to cause corruption. All right, the spirit within us is trying to set things in order, man. All right, according to the ways of your, uh, the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai, speaking how things should be, and giving the contrast and showing the contrary of how things are not. All right, Esau, you are contradictory, man. All right, you are a hypocrite. All of the things that you say that we do to violate and the things that you're trying to demonize us of all right you are doing all of those very sad things man and that's that saying hey when you're pointing one finger all right there's 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 uh three pointing back at you man all right really you're the blame for the filth of the earth for the conditions of the cities for the condition of the state for the condition of the country and what are we doing? We're speaking out against it. So guess what? We are made, made criminals, just like the prophets have been in all of their times. All right, whenever they speak, spoke out against a nation or a country of war, of rumor, of, 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 of pestilence, of evil. All right, they were taken, they were tortured, they were tormented, they were beat. All in the name of righteousness, man. All right, and technically, hey, we're the only ones all right, that are speaking out, man. Everyone else is afraid, all right, uh, to come out and to voice all right, their concern, man. All right, you people should be, there should, there should be way more people concerned, all right, according to this man and the way that he's ruling the world. All right, because he's not governing the world according to all right, that perfect law, man. He's not governing the world according to righteousness. All right, his conduct isn't according to righteousness. All right, but it's according to wickedness. It, and through his wickedness, that's the reason why this earth is being corrupted, man. Just like it has been corrupted any time that this man's been in power. But more so now than ever. So we are criminals. All right, uh, and the time is coming when they're gonna, you know, uh, demonize us and put our face in the in the in the media, all right, and put our face out there on the news, all right, even more so than ever. And for what? Because we're preaching the word, man. But that shows you that we're in the right spirit, because this is the same spirit that Yahweh Shai, the one whom the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, came in. And guess what? The world hated him. So therefore, it's going to hate us. Now, concerning the prophets and the men of the Lord, a hey, continuing the conduct all right, of Yahweh Shai, man. Continue to follow Yahweh Shai as you lift up this banner of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, as you lift up this word. So that when Esau do roll on you, all right, the ones that are on the contrary part will be ashamed, all right, observing your conduct and the way that you carry yourself in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So that they will see that you, technically, you are innocent, man. Alright? 
hey, the time is coming that we're going to suffer as evildoers, man. But in righteousness, because the way that we're moving in righteous, uh, uh, the, the way that we're moving is in righteousness. It's not according to wickedness. All right, we're not moving after the way of this world. We're not moving in the spirit of zealots. All right, we're not moving in the spirit of, oh, we got to... We, we're going to be the ones to take this man down. We know that everything happens on the accord of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and decency and in order. So we're following order. All right. We're prophesying against this man. All right. We're speaking of better things to come. We're speaking of the kingdom. And that's what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is about to bless us with now. There's going to be a moment of tribulation, and there is a moment of tribulation at this moment. But it's going to get even worse than what it is right now. And through this tribulation, all right, you can't just lose control. You can't just lose your mind and fly off the handle and just do whatever the hell that you want to do, man. All right, our greatest weapon against this devil, all right, is prayer to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, and faith, man. All right, is it not written that that um, they shall overcome? All right, by by um, roughly paraphrasing. All right, by the the faith of Yahweh Shai, and that can be found within a few places within the New Testament. But one place that comes uh, uh, the, uh, to mind is in Revelation the 14th chapter. All right, that's how we're going to overcome through the faith in Yahweh Shai, man. So continuously pray, you know, that the Most Heavenly Father takes his devil down. All right, and to bring about and to confirm the words in which he has had us speaking. All right, because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is faithful, man. And every word that he speaks will come to pass. All right, all we have been doing is speaking his word, man. All right, it's not in our spirit to, to, to blow things up. All right, that's not our nature. That's not our makeup. It's not in our spirit to to uh, grab weapons and to fight, man. We understand that our hope at this moment is going to come from heaven. And the scriptures say in Exodus 14 and 14, stand still and I will fight for you. And we remember the history of all the great and miraculous ways that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has delivered us. All right, we remember the coming up out of Egypt and how it was and how the Lord you know, um, delivered us when, when Pharaoh and his army thought that he had us entangled in the land. All right, and the Lord sent the chariot, all right, in which his son was in that. All right, his son is going to come back this time in the chariot, but this time we're going to be in them, man. We're going to enter into the chambers. We're going to be in the chariots. And we're going to pass through the waters. All right, we passed through the waters before, but that was, that was the... The, 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 the time of Egypt we passed through all right, the sea man the Lord parted the sea and when we thought that we were had no other way all right, and that we were going to be destroyed and Yahweh Shem Shai made a way for us to escape man and with the same way he made for us to escape he destroyed our enemies and that's the same thing Yahweh Shem Shai is about to do right now what do you think the thermonuclear destruction is for, man? What do you think the chariots is for? All right, with the same deliverance that he wrought for us, he's going to destroy our enemies, man. So keep preaching that word, man. Keep being bold through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Don't give up. Don't slack. This ain't no time for that, man. Don't be afraid what Esau is about to do. If anything, be more afraid of what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is about to do because the torments that he's about to bring upon this world is far worse than what Esau can bring upon your ass, man. This ain't no time to become a, a fearful and afraid, man. At the sight of tribulation. Keep in mind all of the apostles, all of the prophets, all right, who stayed their course and remember their blessed end. So if you follow in the example of them, all right, you will, you will obtain the same reward that they're going to attain. All right, you're going to obtain the same reward through faith that they're going to obtain. You know, so with that, 
I'm going to go ahead and end this lesson right there, but I, I truly hope that it was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Washai. You know, Salaki, I couldn't pull scriptures because I'm driving right now. But, hey, hopefully, hey, the point hit home. Hey, Shalom.